This video is going to show you the, one of the key differences between constrained and unconstrained dimensioning tools. We'll go ahead and we'll just uh, annotate at the annotations of this viewport here. And then here, now see, we'll use the constrained dimension tool and we'll use it in the first mode, regular mode. Click once, click a second time, and we have our dimension. Now, if I delete this, this regular dimension, and I use the unconstrained dimension tool, we'll do the same exact thing, and we get the same value. If you use it in exactly straight up X and Y, left and right, or top to bottom, they function exactly the same. Here's the difference. If I want to measure the length of this rail, for instance, the, along the top of this angled wall here, if I click these two points and then offset it, I'm going to get the span. I'm not going to get the actual length of this. If I delete that dimension, actually, I'll leave that dimension there. We'll just move it up out of the way. And I'll use the unconstrained dimension tool and click the same two points. See how it stays parallel with that edge and it gives a different value? The constrained dimensioning tool is only measuring from this point to this point along the horizontal axis. It's not measuring the actual length of this angled line. The unconstrained dimension is. It will measure the actual distance between this point and this point. Otherwise, the tools function very much the same, but that's the difference between these two. Constrained dimensions will always remain exactly up this way, or if I had in the middle of creation, I'll show you this. If I go to the constrained dimension and click these two points, upwards or out to the side. These are the two directions it will go. So it'll either dimension the length this way, the span that way, or clicking these same two points and going this way will measure the height, not the length of this line. If I want to get the length, I need to use the unconstrained dimensioning tool, and that will give me the actual length of this angled line.